Podcast. Welcome to day 19 of the Prosperity for Posterity devotional, The Golden Jam. The topic for today's devotion is the Armor of God series, The Breastplate of Righteousness. Our Bible text for today is Ephesians chapter 6 from verse 13 through 14. Therefore, take up the old armor of God that you may be able to withstand in the evil day and having done all to stand, stand therefore, having guarded your waist with truth, having put on the breastplate of righteousness. A typical armed soldier in ancient Rome or an Israeli soldier at a time wore a breastplate made of metallic material, typically bronze. It covered the vital organs, namely the heart the, and the other organs in the torso. The chest area and normally was fitted with loops or buckles that attached it to the thick belt. If the belt was loosened, the breastplate slipped right off. It goes to show how the belt of truth that we discussed yesterday and the breastplate of righteousness are closely related. We will come back to that. But first, what is righteousness? A righteous person is a moral, upright person who follows and does what is right. In essence, they live the right way. Therefore, the definition of righteousness is the state or condition of being declared upright, moral, just, or virtuous. This righteousness is not in your own eyes, though. But when people look at you, they know and declare you to be an upstanding moral person. It is God who declares a believer righteous. Here is the definition I grew up with in Sunday school. It says righteousness is right standing with God. This righteousness is not yours because according to Isaiah 64 verse 6, all our righteousnesses are like filthy rags. This righteousness is God imputed. God made him who had no sin to be sin for us, so that in him we might become the righteousness of God. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 21. We are righteous because God says we are through the blood of Jesus. Does all that talk about being morally upright or virtuous have you feeling overwhelmed and left you asking, is this even possible? Good news. This righteousness is not earned. It is a gift. It is not a status you become. It is who you are now as a blood-bought child of the Most High God. Who? Isn't that wonderful? Living in the truth of God's word, the belt of truth, helps us to please God in all our ways and saves us from the enemy's attack targeted at the heart of our faith. That's why the scriptures recorded about Abraham that he believed in the Lord and God accounted it to him for righteousness. Genesis chapter 15, verse 6. How do you grow your belief? How do you develop your faith. Romans 10, 17 gives us the roadmap. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. And in yesterday devotional, we established the truth is the word of God. So put on the breastplate of righteousness by living according to the truth of the word of God. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we are grateful for the blood of Jesus that was shed that we might be transformed from a person condemned to die because any form of self-righteousness before you is still like a field of rag. Thank you for declaring us righteous. We pray, O oh God, for the grace and the power to will and to do for your good pleasure all the days of our lives. Thank you for we are your righteousness in Christ Jesus. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen, 
Amen and amen. Hallelujah. I'm glad you're able to join me today. This has been an amazing time. And uh, I look forward to having you here tomorrow again. If this has been a blessing to you, please give it a like and share it as well. I'll see you back here tomorrow by the grace of God. So don't forget, put on the, the breastplate. Number one, put on the belt of truth to put on, to have in place your breastplate of righteousness. God bless you. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.